Oh my gosh, look what I got. Uh. Alright guys, so today we're going to be doing a MTV unboxing video. Just got home from school. Melly just came, dropped this off. Uh, I'm doing a video down here in the basement. Hopefully the lighting is good enough. Hopefully you can see. But today I'll be opening this. This is unopened. So you can't see my stuff. Unopened, seal still there. Will not pull open. Um, so I'm gonna be undoing. The, I'm gonna be opening this up. I'm gonna show you guys what lures I got and how much they are. Um, this is only the fifteen dollar box. Fifteen dollars or twenty five dollars? I think it's the fifteen dollar box, but it can't have up to twenty five dollars worth of lures in it. This is my second box. I ordered one uh, just to see if I even liked MTB, and I would recommend this to even a beginner angler just to start looking at different types of lures, what you can get into. And some of the different stuff that they have in here is actually pretty cool. So I'll open it up. There you go. Just scrub this out a little bit. That works right. Alright. Boom. Wow, there's actually a lot of stuff in here. Alright, so in this we got four lures this time. Last time it was three, I believe. Um, starting off, oh man, we got some, got some crankbaits in here, we got some hooks, we got some plastics in here, wow, some actually really good stuff this to today. Um, and so I'm going to start off with the DB Soft Square Bill. I believe this is a soft body crankbait. Yeah, I've, I've read about these, these are soft body crankbaits, uh, square bill. Um, this one dives to one and a half to four feet. Uh, this is made by DB. Um, not really familiar with the company, but that's what the whole premise of the Mystery Tackle Box is, is to get you into new lures. This is a soft body lure, so I can open it real quick. Bang. It is basically a hollow body crankbait, which I don't know how these hooks aren't going to get stuck in it. But it's really squishy, and it's basically a soft plastic, almost, except it's a little bit higher quality plastic on there. So that is lure number one, DB, one and a half foot, one and a half inch soft square bill, retails for $9.99. I'm just going to round these up. It says, so, 10 bucks for this one crankbait. And so that's basically, that's over half of this box already, and I haven't even gotten into anything else. Um, so the next lure we have is another crankbait. It's called the Rumbling Crank. It's almost like a salmon. Um, Rumbling Crank by Throwback Lures. Uh, apparently it's made in Japan. I didn't know that. That's kind of cool. Uh, this retails for $7. Uh, it looks pretty nice. Has a nice gold and red, uh, black little paint job there. Uh, I don't know where this is made, does it say? Let me see. This is the orange belly craw color. Um, it's made in China, I guess. I don't know. The only reason I thought of that is because it has this Japanese writing right there. But um, let me pull this out and I'll show that to you guys too. Wow, that's a really big crankbait. There you go. I'm guessing it's lipless. I mean, there's not, nothing else there. But I'm um, really interested to see how this works. Has an okay rattle on it. Uh, it's kind of weird because this hook isn't at the end like most crankbaits. If I get all these things snagged up. Um, so in the case of the soft body one, the hook is all the way at the end. And this one, there isn't really a place to put it, so they put it kind of underneath here. So I'm really anxious to see how that's going to work. Um, it does still have the 180 turning. So that's okay. But really interested to get that out. See how that works. Um, let's see what do we want to do next. Let's do where did those come from? Those aren't part of anything. Aren't they? Oh, there there's five in here. I'm sorry, there's five things in here. The other one must have had four, because I knew there was one more thing on here. Um the other thing is I'm gonna go to the hooks next. Uh I'll set the plastics for last. Um these are the Hachi hooks, I guess you could call them. These are Fat Gat Worm and two hooks. 
This is a two pack. It says it retails for one dollar and forty cents, so one fifty for a pack of five or for a pack of two. And these are four op hooks. So I've been needing some hooks recently. I wish they were like some mess, but so next we got the salt tubes. These are made by Big Bite Baits. Um, does it say what color these are? No. Fortified with bite juice. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Um, these are salt tubes. Um, they're like this cool orangey color. I haven't really used tubes before, but now that I have these, I might try to get into them. Um, it's almost like an orange watermelon or something like that. I don't know what you would call that color, but it's a really nice color. Um, those are, like I said, those are made by Big Bites. It came in this cool like half pack kind of thing. Um, salt tube by Big Bite Baits. You get two four. It's two twenty for a four pack. Oh man, did they give me an extra? They might have gave me an extra because there's five in here, and it just says four pack. So it's kind of cool. I might have got an extra. Um, and the other thing that's in here, which never even heard of this. This is made by Bite Lab, I guess. Um, these are basically big swim baits that have a little bit of jointing to them up here. Um, it says they're extreme squid scent. And these are 5 inch pumpkin red flake. Uh, these retail for about $6. Um, pumpkin red flake. Huh? Alright, let's see what we got here. Ooh, okay. Ooh, those are squid scented. But there you go. Get all of those in there. Put this back in here. Right. Okay. Ooh, that okay, those do not smell the best. But they are swim baits, so they are swim baits, so I hope they work pretty good. It says they're made with the ultimate strike formula. Um, hook marge for easy rigging, rigging, fold splits improve hookup ratio. Alright, so you got that. So the total uh, that this whole box comes out to is, so we got 10, uh, we got 10 plus, 7 plus, 6, 10. So this box itself comes out to twenty-six dollars and seven cents, uh, including the half packs of hooks, the half pack of hooks, and the half pack of salt tubes. So this must be a full package of bio or bait lab, sorry, bio lab swim baits. Um, and so this whole box came out to twenty-six dollars. That's pretty good savings. I'm saving. $11.70 on buying this and just experiencing new companies and stuff like that. So I would really suggest this to basically anybody. Um, you get this also, just tells you how much it's all worth. And then you get a. What is that? You know what? Did I not get a. No way. I didn't get a, you get a sticker, and apparently this time I did not get a match the hash sticker, or scratcher, so I might have to contact them, I might be contacting them, um, but you get a little edition of Dibble Digest, um, this has different um, tips in it, this week's are jerk bait tactics and three ways to get more bites. Um, stuff about their MTV Slam contest. Uh, the three best ways to rig a Nightcrawler, which I have never used Nightcrawlers to catch bass before, but I might try it now. Um, and then there's seven top plastics to wacky rig. 
Um, and then moon phases and how they affect the bite. So, let me see how it comes out of his mouth. There's a hook coming out of his mouth. That must be fun. Look at that. There's just a hook coming out of his mouth. I don't know if you can see that or not. But that looks very painful. Um, so this has been a very successful mystery tackle box. I don't think my other one was worth this much. It didn't have as much stuff in there either. But all the lures I got today, I'm really excited to try out. Um, I would suggest this to anybody who's starting angling or being a bass angler in any sense. Or if you're just looking to find new companies and uh, good baits that actually work. Uh, I will say that they do work. Um, or you're just looking for something to cut costs on. Because as I said, this saved me $11 just by putting my money into one thing mystery tackle box and not knowing what lures I'm going to get but trusting that they're going to give me good lures that are no work um, I live in southern Illinois so all this stuff that I got today is actually really going to be useful the tubes, the swim baits actually are become very helpful and same thing with this gold and red uh, crankbait Especially since it's getting into early fall. Um, so we're going to be using some of those probably in the videos. Uh, you'll see that all going down. But otherwise, that's the end of this video. Not a very long video today. I know I do long videos. You don't need to say anything. But hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video.